I'm Peter Kilnane. I am the Director and Head of Pensions of uh, Fairway Pension Trustees. Uh, Fairway Pension Trustees is part of the Fairway Group. Um, we do private client trust, we do fund administration, and then I run the business that's responsible for um, pension and savings structures, um, both domestically and internationally. Outside of the business, um, we are, um, across all the directors and the leadership team within Fairway, we're encouraged to be thought leaders in our fields, in our various fields. So um, I was one of the founding members of the Jersey Pensions Association. I'm currently the association secretary, I tend to um, uh, revolve the roles and that's the role I'm, I'm currently fulfilling. Um, for more than 15 years now, I'm also um, an advisor to government on the Pensions Working Party as was originally established. Um, and then we advise government on legislative matters and as I'm always saying to them it's their job to legislate, it's our job to innovate and so industry um, in Jersey has a very close working relationship with the government because we're a small island um, and one of the advantages of being in Jersey and one of the, one of the plus points of Jersey as a jurisdiction is that very close collaboration and lack of bureaucracy in getting legislation through so that innovators can do their job. Um, fundamentally, Fairway Group is uh, an owner-managed independent trust business, um, which means that we are in control of our own destiny. Um, being Jersey-based originally, and our aspiration is to be always Jersey headquartered, even though we do aspire to having overseas offices, which we've already started uh, that program of building the business out of Jersey. Um, remaining Jersey headquartered means that we are basing our business in an IFC, an international finance center, that is generally accepted as the number one in the world. And so what that brings to the party is uh, an enormous amount of regulatory oversight um, and shared expertise here in the island um, amongst the legal profession, the tax advisors, the investment managers, um, particularly in my field, um, of pensions and savings, we tend to find that we're, we're very connected to all parts of the finance industry um, and they're all within walking distance of our office. I think Jersey's very well placed and the Crown Dependencies are very well placed to probably benefit from it. I think, I wouldn't say Brexit is a sideshow, there's a lot of noise about it, but um, Jersey particularly is, is not part of the United Kingdom. It is a crown dependency but it's not part of the United Kingdom. It actually has its own relationship with Europe. Um, so whilst the future is going to be really interesting, um, I, I don't see Brexit as a hurdle in any way, shape or form to the success of Jersey. Um, a lot of the business that's conducted in Jersey um, is, is international business. Um, you know, more and more businesses over here aren't, aren't UK focus, they're internationally focused. In fact, we have very, very little footprint in the United Kingdom. So um, the Brexit uncertainty that's gone on, which, which, which undoubtedly, until that's sorted out, will um, um, cause, you know, nothing, nothing, there's nothing worse than uncertainty to upset markets. So in an indirect way, it's not, I would say, Jersey specific, it's probably market specific. And so what, from a pension trustee's perspective, we're seeing volatility that ordinarily we wouldn't see, not because of Jersey, but because of the uncertainty surrounding Brexit, if that makes sense. That's a great question. It's one of our biggest challenges. It is one of our biggest challenges. So we, to, to remain um, competitive, we have to pay competitive packages, and we do. Um, um, I think the environment in which we work is, um, often probably not enough emphasis is put on that. You know, people might look at just their salary. They don't firstly look at the broader package and they don't necessarily look at the environment in which they're actually working day to day. They're spending a lot of time. So um, the initiatives we have uh, within the business are really, really important. Our colleagues counsel. Um, we do, you know, whether it's everything from sort of health checks to yoga to to, uh, to, the, to, the, to the lunch run club, to all the other activities we do um, externally for, for our staff. It's a really important part of making sure that the Fairway family, as we call it, um, are properly looked after. The 
So um, since launching our international savings plan um, last year called Flex Global, flexglobal.com, um, in order to address that opportunity as we see it, the big challenge, the big conversation that's going on at government, people need solutions. Um, and whether it's at the private level or at the corporate level, um, we have launched a, um, a structure which enable um, um, companies and individuals to sort of address their savings needs um, in the most efficient manner we can do. So by having a reach, a more global reach across our offices will enable us to roll that out really to more, more continents. We focused it on the UAE and particularly the Middle East at the moment because Fairway has a quite a close and personal connection with the UAE for many years. It's a jurisdiction we're more than familiar with. Um, most of the leadership team travel there regularly. I'm there every quarter. I spend a month of my life out there every year. Um, and so um, it's also a very good hub, if you like. Um, we're quite excited with what the UAE government is doing. Um, they're creating their own business hubs. If you go throughout the jurisdictions, you'll see all the free zones they're creating, whether it's the DIFC, ADDGM, um, these free zones are creating financial hubs for which is a really good point of connectivity for us. So in terms of us trying to achieve our aims, being and working in these jurisdictions is, a, is an ideal springboard.